Welcome to my man's cave. Let's come and take a look. I'll show you. This table saw is a fundamental core of the entire workshop. It allows me to cut uh, plastic, wood, metal or any other material with a tenth of a millimeter precision. I have all the different blades for any material I cut the most commonly. I purposely made this holder because it's much easier to just grab the blade with two fingers like this. And I also have a label so I know always uh, what blade is what for. Combined planer, that's a woodworking machine that allows me to have a straight edge on a surface. Or I can just plane any thickness of the material that I need. Like when I have a 25mm board, I can plane it, have nice and smooth edge and the surface. and Line it to 20 millimeter, for example. This type of a drill is pretty essential at a workshop, I think, because it's much easier to just hold the material and you always drill holes straight down and you can also set depth of the hole. So that's pretty cool. I also uh, welded a special trolley that it sits on so I can move it anywhere around the workshop. And also I have a little magnetic holder here for all the drills that I use most commonly. <laughs> <laughs> this is edge bender. It's a cabinet making machine and what it does when you cut melamine or chipboard and you have this rough edge at one go it just glues and routers this beautiful edging. This is one of my most favorite and most commonly used machines. It's this vertical belt sander that my dad originally bought for his knife making hobby. I have plenty of belts for different purposes, for polishing, for roughening, or just for making nice and smooth edges. This machine was made in 1962. It's a proper old school, proper solid base and it's a really high quality machine. I bought it from a bankrupt company and it's absolutely amazing tool for any kind of a easy cutting, any curves and it's just a very universal saw. This is $150 miter saw from a grocery store. The last one lasts me 10 years, so that's why I decided to go for the cheap one again. You know what? They do the job and I love them. I just take care of them. This one has a laser. I have a special extended bench for long profile so they don't fall. And it's perfect for aluminum, wood, plastic. I'm just never surprised. This is a machine I really, really wanted at my workshop. This is a horizontal belt sander and it has really wide belt and that makes it really practical. Combined with this curve, so you can always be sending curve inside. Kept searching on the internet and I end up finding something from a company that was really cheap and was not exactly what I wanted. So what I did, I took an old saw and I bought a machine and I cut part of the belt sander and, uh, <laughs> and kind of created two machines together. Why? Because I really wanted this simple mechanism so I can be lifting this entire surface higher. So when you send and you send one part of a belt sand, you can step it up and be sending a little bit higher. Look, this is another part of the workshop. This is more for rougher work. We have a vibration table for concrete. We have a welding station here. We have a, and another drill and also lathe. I'm a big believer in big benches. It allows me to work on multiple projects at the same time. I can easily spread the workflow and I have enough space to have all the tools around me. The only problem with benches always is how to figure out storage underneath. Look at this, I can slide it out. I have everything accessible from the top and from the side. I can see everything nicely and I just love this style. And I have all of these most commonly used tools always plugged in. So I never have to do that extra step, finding them, taking them out and plugging them in. 
This section is very important to me because I have everything nearby, easy to access and everything on the magnets. So it's so easy to grab. And also I can anytime replace these tools with something else that I use those days more often. This is a unit where I store all the small parts like hinges and, uh, and any accessories. And this unit, I have all the brushes and uh, electric tools and everything that I need to have nearby. Trolleys were one of the first thing I built this workshop. They help so much on a day-to-day -day basis. It's on the wheels and it's also the same height like all these machines in the workshop. So I can be just sliding material from or to. I have three of them, they have two shelves, that's practical and also you can notice they have a little groove from the bottom. So I can just grab it with fingers and pull it wherever I need. One of these trolleys is special because I use it for my router and let me show you how. I only use two screws because that's fast and then I have magnets here for these. So, let's see. So now I can move this back and forth so I can have a groove in any material at any time. And also, I'm using my vacuum cleaner for this. This heater is Local Legends Ultimate Creation. This is a two layers heater. That means you have a fire inside and there is one extra space where all the air circulates. So it takes from here and it blows all the way to the room. It's so efficient. It looks like from Alien movies and I love it. This is a shed next to my workshop where I keep all the material that I collect with time and also this is my scrap management. I'm a big believer in the recycling things and giving them second life. So as I find different materials, different plastic, metal, aluminum, anything seriously, I just stock it here. And when I'm uh, working on a project and I need a certain specific material, I know where to find it. So I'll just reshape it to my needs. This was my one-time investment uh, where I spent a lot of money to fill all of these and make this unit. But now I know I'm not surprised often <laughs> because all the bolts, all the screws, everything is right here in a variety of sizes. I noticed most of the firms have a dust extractor in the main uh, workshop, which I don't like because you always breathe that micro dust that uh, comes out of this. So I purposely have it in a shed and it just uh, turns on when I turn on any of these big machines. So travel free life and uh, fresh air, easy to breathe, no problems, good life, healthy. <laughs> Thank you so much for being interested in my workshop. I love this place. It's a lot of fun when friends come and we create something larger than life in a spare time. What I've been currently working on are these e-bikes. If you want to have hands-on and create one like this, I can help you out. I'm selling a parts list and also a five hours long video guide so you can follow step by step and create exactly the same machine. If you don't know what it is about, you should take a look at this video explaining everything about e-bikes. If you want to see how I build one of these, it's right here. Thanks again for watching and see you next time in another video.